Thank you for joining the webinar today. My name is Mike Wood. I will be your presenter and your mentor today with Facebook Business Page Inbox Tutorial. This Inbox Tutorial will help you understand how to use your uh, Facebook messages and uh, um, reply to messages in your inbox and all of those details there. So let's jump into it and and get things started here. So we'll pull that uh, up. So here we are at our Facebook uh, page. Today I'm using my Wild Utah Edibles page. And on this, uh, on this page here, we have some of the same things you might have seen in our previous, in our first webinar. And remember I told you that I would go through each of these items here. So we're going to go through step by step on each of these things uh, over the next several weeks and kind of clarify how to use them. So today I'm focusing on the inbox. When somebody sends you a message on Facebook, you'll have a uh, an inbox here that you can look at those messages on. Now let's just give you an example. If we go to Facebook over here, and this is where I'm not logged into my official account. Then we can pull up my page and see what it what it looks like from the consumer's point of view. So we're going to put up a, or put in a search here for Wild Utah edibles to do a search for my page. And notice when you do a search here, we have filters. We can look just for posts. We can look at everything. We can look for people, photos, videos, marketplace, pages, places. We've got all these options here. Um, generally, if you do a search and it matches, the search you're putting in matches a uh, page name, then that page will be right at the top like you see here. So you might notice that little message option right there. So if people hover over the page, they could send me a message. Or if they go to the page here, then they have that option to send a message as well. So people could go in and click this right here and send a message. Now one of the things that uh, Facebook has done is they allow automated message replies. So if I go in here and say, when is your next tour, and send that message, I have an automated reply that says, Facebook doesn't notify me very well of messages. If I don't respond, please email me. And so that's my message that they're getting. Well, if I am over here, you can see I've got a notification showing up right there saying, hey, you've got a new message. And if I go to my inbox on this side here, so this is something I want to do. If I'm going to be active promoting my Facebook uh, page, putting content on there, posting links, blog, um, blog posts, articles, images, photos, videos, whatever it is that I'm sharing, if I'm actively sharing content and I'm working to build the awareness and build likes and, and get people to come follow my page, then I better start paying attention to those messages, right? I need to, to know when there's a message coming in, turn on my notifications perhaps on my uh, um, Facebook app, uh, or install the, the Facebook Pages Manager. Uh, that's something that I use on my phone, and I would encourage you to install the Pages Manager on your phone. So here we are in our messages. My uh, message that I just sent is the most recent right up at the top here. There's the automated response and here's the question that put in that was put in there. And so I can send a message back. Um, And I'm silent because if I try and talk while I'm typing, I, I generally make mistakes. 
<laughs> so my response would be something like this, and this is generally what I tell people is, hey, I don't currently have something scheduled, but if you will go sign up for my newsletter on my website, you will be notified next time I do have something come up. And so I send that to them, and that goes as a response back to their little chat window. Okay, And then they might say uh, uh, something like, thanks. I'll go sign up. Okay, And so they send that response. And if I have that uh, window open here, then I get that right away. If I have the Pages Manager set up on my phone, then I'm going to get the notification on my phone as well. So that is the inbox for your business page. And if you have a Instagram account, Instagram is owned by Facebook, and so any comments or messages sent through Instagram will also show up in your inbox over here. And so here we've got the Instagram uh, direct message uh, option. We've got the comments and more down here. So if somebody makes a comment on a post, that will show up down here. Uh, if they make a comment on an Instagram post, it will show up right there. So all of that uh, is, is part of the business page inbox. Okay. Now when I have completed a message, if I don't want to keep that message, which usually I keep my messages, I leave them in here. I don't like to delete these uh, because if I, if I don't have time to respond appropriately right away or, or if it's a, a question that makes me think, oh, I ought to do a video on that or maybe I should do a blog post on that. Maybe there's more I can do to explain this. I like to keep it in there so I can come in and, and go back through the messages from time to time. So I usually don't delete these. Since this is a practice one, I'm going to come up here to the right-hand corner and I am going to delete this conversation. So again, only delete conversations if you are absolutely certain you don't need to come back to that, you don't need to be reminded of this person or anything like that. Um, if there's a chance you might uh, um, need to come back to them, then you'll want to, to leave it in there. Um, now I would expect that to go away. I'm kind of surprised to see that that is not... Uh, okay, so we do have this little check box, check mark here, move to done. So that's interesting. And that's something new for, uh, since the last time I looked at this. Um, we have options over here. We can move to done over here. We can delete. We can move to spam if it's somebody just trying to market to us or you know a spam comment or something. Uh, we can mark it as unread if we want to come back to it. We can mark to follow up. Um, and then we have other options over here. If this is an abusive person making a comment that is unkind or abusive in some way, well, we could come in here and ban them from the page. Okay, I've never used that. I don't expect you'll have to use that to, uh, much, if at all, but the option is there. All right, so over here we've got the Instagram is for direct messages on Instagram. I don't think I have any in this account. I do not. Uh, the Messenger is the default. If we come down here to comments and more, we've got our comments made on our Facebook account. So any comments that people have made on posts that I've made in Facebook will show up there. If we go to the Instagram, any comments that would have been made on our Instagram post would show up here. Now one very valuable thing that you can do with messages is create an automated response. And so that's right down here at the bottom. So we go to Automated Responses. And here we can edit this. We can decide what our automated response is going to be. We can say, hey, make this an instant reply. Uh, we've got an away message option. If we wanted to turn that on, we could schedule that and say, hey, I'm away for a few days. Uh, then we have uh, down here, we have a Frequently Asked Questions option that can be put in. Uh, and that uh, is set to to on for um, for mine. Suggest uh, um, suggest questions people can ask your page. Uh, then set up automated responses to those questions. 
And so I can automate some responses. So if we go in to edit this, and notice it has this timing section. Automated responses are sent instantly after someone taps a question. Note, frequently asked questions will appear at the beginning of a conversation with your page. All right, so let's go set that up. I had a, a note there, or a comment earlier. I, I mentioned that a lot of people will ask, you know, when's your next tour on this one, because I go out and do tours. So let's put that in here. When is your next scheduled tour? So here we're suggesting a question that is very common, and so that's what we're going to put in. Automated response. I'm going to put my response in here. The best way to be notified of upcoming tours is to sign up for my newsletter on my website. You can sign up for that here. After, oops, after you sign up and verify, you will be notified when I send schedule the next tour. All right, so I'm going to put a link right here to that sign up page on my site. And so we've got to go find that. I think it uh, uh, should be this page here. Uh, I probably ought to put that on multiple pages of my site. Yeah, right there, um, we've got the link. So we can copy the link to this page and come over here and just paste that right into there. And there we are with our automated question. <clears throat> okay. So um, we could even add a button here if we wanted to make it a button. So we could click on this button, button label, add an action you want people to take sign up, All right? Website URL, that's our page that I just copied there. So there we are, we've added a button. Um, <clears throat> add to menu, people messaging you will be able to access this question throughout the conversation. Um, and then we can add another question, okay? So those are some uh, common questions there. Uh, I might put another one in here. Uh, sometimes people will ask, um, can I send you a photo of a plant for identification? Question. All right, and then I can put my response there, automated response, right? We're making this quick and easy so that we can service our customers even if we're not attentive at the time. So even if this comes in in the middle of the night, they'll get the automated response. Okay. So automated response on this one, um, absolutely. Okay, so leaves, flowers, and fruits, as well as bark, 
We'll capitalize that one too. Bark can be helpful for identification. There we go. So that uh, creates that automated response. All right. So all of that is uh, put in there. Okay. When is so here they're showing up over on the side, so that's what they're going to look like. Um, see if I can clear out some of these little notifications. There we are. So, especially on a, um, uh, this is showing it what it'll look like on a phone, right? So, fake phone there. Um, when is your next scheduled tour? Can I send you a photo of a plant for identification? And they can ask those questions automatically, or they can type in one that they prefer. So let's go see what this looks like on our page again. If we come back over here and refresh, we'll see if that has updated. I don't think I had any save buttons or anything I need to click on there. Let's come out of that and go back down to it. Yeah, they're showing up in there. So if somebody comes into our page and page is loaded, they click on message. So they want to send me a message to the page. So they come down here and say, okay, well, I'm going to send a message. And I'm not seeing it. Um, Interesting. All right, let's refresh this one. I would expect it to show up there. <laughs> I'm not seeing. All right, well, maybe Facebook's having a little hiccup right now. Let's see if we can go back to the page. It doesn't want to load it. All right, so anyway, that's how you can set up uh, your inbox. Uh, make sure you're checking that consistently and uh, set up the automated responses. Those are things that uh, will help with the communication. There we are. Get that to load better. So that's how to use your inbox. So next uh, uh, webinar, we'll go into detail on how to use events. Uh, I want to just uh, put a, a note in, a little plug again for posts and comments, uh, content going into your page. So this is one that I put in just before starting the webinar today. Uh, a common question that I get asked, uh, I often get asked what books I recommend for learning about wild edibles. And so I've got a link to my website there with uh, my books page and uh, a picture of my book that I wrote on the topic available, um, which is available on that page, and just a little bit of uh, content talking about, hey, this is a question I have to get. Here's a link to find out more. Uh, and then I'm asking for interaction on here. This is an important thing to do when you're posting on Facebook. And we'll get into more detail later on in the series when we uh, get into strategies for posting. But when you make a post, you want to put a call to action in there. Try and, and get people to engage. Uh, ask them a question. If you ask a question, they will often respond. And that's what we want to do is get some interaction going on. If we get comments happening on our, uh, on our posts, that creates more value in the algorithm for Facebook. And your post will then be shown uh, more times to your followers. So ask for those comments. Comment with links to the books you prefer. So I've got that noted there. So thank you for joining us today to have our discussion on using the business page inbox on Facebook. <laughs>